Hello, my name is Bonnie Gratz, and I am the Artistic Director of New Vintage Theatre Company. And you might recognize me from some of my films, including the bus safety film, Rad, Hypersapien, or Lip Sync. No? Oh, well, maybe you recognize me from some of my recent Kelowna onstage performances in such plays as My Favorite Fairy Tales, Waiting for the Parade, or The Terrifying Bone House? No? <laughs> well, I can't say I'm not surprised. You see, I'm a Canadian theater artist, and as such, I'm highly unrecognizable. But today, with the magic of television and the World Wide Web, we have a very exciting treat for you. My theater company, New Vintage Theater, has been working on a parody soap opera here in Shaw's beautiful studios called As the Sun Burns. Now it's based in Kelowna, but in five fictionalized locations. They include Summer Eve Spa, Wellness Center and Chiro Emporium, The Grape Winery, Sapphire Flashbacks Disco, the Jubilee of Humanity Hospital, and the El Grand Man Luxury Hotel. The characters are inspired by Kelowna, but let me tell you that any resemblance to any Kelowna citizen, living or dead, is highly coincidental. And I'm pleased to tell you that no animals or children were hurt in the filming of these episodes. So kind patrons, sit back, relax, and feel the burn as we start our parody soap opera, As the Sun Burns. As the sun burns. I just can't figure it out, man. How come no one has paid the ransom for the little Kevin? What kind of world do we live in, people? Where you can kidnap a little boy and no one wants him back. I know, right? Who would have thought that the world was such a cold-hearted place? I guess we're just gonna have to kill him. Well, well no. is, is that, that really, really necessary? necessary? I just spent 10 years in prison, 10 long years of suffering. And even I'm not that cold. Look, I'm no Winnie, okay? I'm not soft and just run off the second things get tough. I can deal with the kid. I was a babysitter for like years. How about we line up the money and leave Kevin alone? Yeah, let's go, so Miss Eve. Now there is a terrible human being I don't mind threatening. one of you out and now it's time to get away. Look here, Kevin. I got a big bag of candy that'll give you if you stop kicking people. It is really on me. Too bad, suckers. I'm out of here. Oh. And you call me Houdini. Hello, Dan. I'm just having the most marvelous time with that little gem of yours, Kevin. Oh, I could just keep him for another two or three days. Well, that's very generous of you to offer, but um, I've already been waiting here and waiting here for eight hours, and I've been starting to think that maybe it'd be a nice idea to get him home to his mother. No, no, you can't let him go yet. I have to buy him a... Big surprise, yes. Oh, well, that's really nice of you, but uh, I was just starting to think that maybe Annabelle would get worried if he wasn't home on time. Okay, maybe that's not such a pressing concern, but uh, don't go spoiling him too much. Uh, oh, no worry about spoiling him. We're actually having just the most marvelous of adventures. Um, okay. 
here's the deal. Why don't you meet me at uh, the Jubilee of Humanity Hospital in about, say, 30 minutes or so? Uh, w wait, what? what? The, the, the hospital? What happened to him? Hey, so you did come for me after all. Let's run, they're coming. they go? Oh, all this work for nothing? Another business deal gone! Oh no, I will get my money. One way or another and she will pay. I'm not gonna let an opportunity like this get away. Yeah.